Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 36 of this video series. In this session, we'll see how to create data bins in uh, Click View uh, using class function. So if you want to create or else if you want to group uh, a data based on certain intervals, like suppose if you have a sales data, which uh, highest sales as a 50,000 and the lowest sales amount as zero and you want to group the sales with uh, by sales with certain group like 0 to 5000, 5000 to 2000 or at 8. Hi, welcome to Click Geek part 36 of this video series. In this session, we'll see how to create data bins using class function in uh, Click View. So, data bins are like basically segregating data based on certain criteria and the data bins can be created over uh, numbers in click view suppose how we can create and what exactly it means suppose if you have sales in between 0 to 2000 and you want to group them with a certain criteria like 0 to 100 100 to 200 200 to 300 like that so if you want to group your sales data uh, with these intervals then you can use this class function and this will work fine and class function only uh, can create regular intervals or else regular data bin uh, which will have only equal distance between two intervals or else equal difference between two intervals right so let's go to click view script and here I have a uh, uh, the sales information by product region state postcode and and uh, we also have the information about profit and sales now my requirement is like i want to group sales by thousands so means so whatsoever the sale uh, that fall in between zero to thousand will be grouped under zero to thousand group so to create that data bins so we will use the class function for that so write class and then you need to supply the value on which you are going to uh, create the data bin and then you need to specify the uh, the bin width right here my bin width is thousand I'm saying so that it will start from zero to thousand and then the first bin and the third bin will be uh, thousand to two thousand and the max and min values will be picked from the sales right this is how it will works and then i'll name it as uh, sales bins okay and then reload it so if you go to properties and add sales bins and press ok now you can see right so it is uh, in unformatted format so it will add the value is less than uh, or equals to 0 and it is uh, less than or equals to 1000 so the values the sales which are in between 1000 to uh, I mean 0 to 1000 will comes uh, in this bin so let's verify it so it sparks and I'll I'll create a list box for the sales okay apply and then if I click on this 0 to 1000 so you can see only those values which are below 1000 uh, will be uh, associated to this bin if you go for 1000 to 2000 this will change if you go to 45 to 46,000 you can see only one value is there existed so this is how data bins can be created now we have some text in here so to replace this one just use replace function so just send it to excel and then there you can uh, uh, extract this from that so that you can replace them with the character whichever you want to place in between so in my case i want to put hyphen in, in place of uh, this less than or equals to x and less than or equals to so go to click your script and then replace uh, 
this text by this hyphen apply so what did we miss yeah one more bracket no more bracket no 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 spelling replace yes so this is what uh, and then reload it now you can see it has created the data bins um, based on the given values suppose if you wish to create data bins in between uh, i mean with with uh, the higher intervals you can put that as well if you want to reduce the number of uh, bins you can increase the number always and then reload it and this class function will work both in front end and as well as in back end 